Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Vector Essentials and in this video we are going to talk about the merge operator. Well, now that we saw how the combine latest and the concat with and concat works, the merge will work in a way similar to the concat. The difference is that the concat is a lazy operator, it means that it will wait until the first one, uh, the first publisher finishes and then it will start the second one. But with merge, uh, it will start eagerly. So you can check the documentation. So the merge, uh, it will, unlike contact, the sources will be subscribed uh, eagerly. Let's see what does that mean. So let's create a new test here, just add a, an annotation at test and then a public void merge operator. Okay, so let's start with uh, two simple fluxes uh, like these ones. And then I will copy this uh, empty flux here and I will move this up to where we are using it. That's under this empty flux, just as here. Okay, going back, we have two fluxes, two flux. And now I will use flux.merge. And then I will tell merge flux1 and then merge uh, flux2. And now that I'm merging, uh, well, let's add the logs here. And we add this to a variable. So this variable will be called string flux. So how can we test this? Simple, we just add here, uh, let me change this merge flux. We call this merge flux and then subscribe. And I would like to print all the strings. Just run this. You can see that we have A, B, C, and D. So this means that we are merging two fluxes A, B, C and D. But it's saying here in the documentation that they are going to be subscribed eagerly. It means that this uh, merge will not wait until the the first publishers uh, the first publisher finishes. So to see that, let's uh, just add some tests here. Step verifier, and then you create merge flux, uh, and then expect subscription, expect next, and we can do here A, B, C, and D. And then expect complete, and then verify. Let's run this test. Okay, so we have the result. We don't need this one anymore. Now, what does it mean by eagerly? Let's the, do one example here. Let's say that we are delaying the emission of this one. So let's add dot delay element, and we can add here a duration of milliseconds, 200 milliseconds. Let's execute. So you can see that we have C and it just stopped because the test will stop once we find a, an error. Let's add here merge flux again, subscribe, log, info. Let's execute. Okay, so you can see here that we have C and D. Let's add thread.sleep. Let's say that this is going to sleep for one second. And now we add throws exception here. Execute again this method. And you can see that we have everything. So the first thing that you have to remember is that Flux is going to subscribe eagerly. It means that it will not wait until the first one finishes. And second, that they run in different threads. So you can see that we have here C and D and then A and B. We could uh, do something more fancy. For example, we have this merge and we can tell here for example delay elements and we have duration of millis and we also say here 200 milliseconds 
let's execute again and we have here c d a b why because we are delaying the first one in 200 milliseconds that's more than enough time to get the second uh, subscriber the second flux uh, the published items available in this merge so this is the the merge operator if you want you can uh, change the test here so c d and just change here to a and b you can remove this one and you can also remove this one and now you execute the test so we have c and d a b okay and the next one is the merge with so we can copy this entire merge operator and then merge with so basically merge with it's exactly the same thing as the the merge the difference is that you call directly from the flux so with this one you can call merge with and you can pass as an argument the flux too and you will get exactly the same result so the flux operator is important because uh, we're going to talk about the flat map and a flat map behind the scenes uh, it will do exactly what the merge operator is doing so before we get there we have to talk a little bit more about other ones for example merge sequential concat uh, operator error and so on so let's continue in the next video see you